Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ace Reading Comics. This week, we get to talk about Deceased. This is episode 161. As always, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can also listen to us anywhere you get your podcast. And as always, let's get to it. And welcome to the Best Damn Book Club on the internet. My name is Ryan Thomas. That's David Crocker. This is Twitter Reading Comics. And today... We're back in the tiniest room Woo-hoo! in the house. We're back, baby. Uh, well, there's actually two rooms that are the same size, so this is just the lesser of the two evils. The other one feels bigger. I know, but they're the exact same size because we measured. I don't believe you. I, I wouldn't get a tape measure out. Because the other one has way more stuff in it, too. It, it, I know. I know. It feels like it's bigger, but it's not. Um... We're about to find out how much we actually enjoyed <laughs> doing it over the internet. I am happy to be here. Woohoo! Uh, I, to be honest, except for one, I think we picked some pretty good books this month. Yeah, I'll be interested to in see which one your yours is because I've got I've got one that I'm not too pleased about either. You picked. It's not one you picked. You picked three this month. Oh. Okay. Because mine's what we're going to be... T- mine's not... It's not that I'm not pleased about it, but Deceased was kind of not as... Didn't live up to the hype that I was well, when expecting I, for it. It, it wasn't we'll living up to the expectations that I put out there for myself. We'll get more into it when we start talking about the book, but... um. It's obviously an event book, so it doesn't oh, focus yeah. more on one character. Oh, which was fun. Um, but looking at the back, at least on the Comixology version, um, it does seem like it's a three-part thing, and this was just part one. Oh, uh, see, I when... So I think the next one is like Dead Planet or something. Okay, where are they... So, like, I was going to, along. like, propose, hey, let's do the other two parts. Just because it this was At clearly point, yeah. a bunch of setup, yeah. But yeah, um, no, mine is the one we're doing next week. Oh, that really? I suggested, yeah. The the Punisher one. Yeah, next week oh. we are doing Punisher. Um, I think I was also in a bad mood that day though, so I don't know. Oh, but I mean, there I, right. there was some stuff, but we'll get to that I for agree. next. There's week. some there's some stuff I could disagree with, but yeah. some other I was okay. All right. Um, but yeah, no. Um. Weird enough, Davis waited till my birthday month to decide, hey, I want to start picking books. You, it was your month. You could have overruled me. I feel like, I don't know. After we did the whole top 10, <laughs> I was like, I got to start letting Davis pick some of these books. <laughs> and not to mention, I meant to do this as the intro, but I was like, the I was going to do the best, ba- best damn Batman podcast. Oh, because yeah. Because it's literally the only book that'll get numbers on our YouTube. Yeah. Routinely, the past two months now, Beyond White Knight and Batman Damned have gotten... And Batman Damned was bad. <laughs> was bad. <laughs> the show, the, the podcast the comic, was bad. Yeah. The comic was, it was bad. bad. It was all just bad. Yeah. Uh, and, and yet, still, both of them cracked triple digits. Almost yeah. one, I think Damned almost did. Yeah, they got like uh, 90, White Knight did. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, well, if these motherfuckers only like mainstream bad comics, I White Knight's good. But I was like, just the new mainstream shit. We'll do it. Yeah, it's just like, well, okay, we're gonna do deceased. We got fucking Punisher this yeah, month. Let's go. We got Thor this let's month. Let's go. Um, if you count Why the Last Man, that is technically a Vertigo book, which was a part of DC. Yeah. So, uh, I saved off my fun books, except <laughs> um, although Davis picked Lock and Key for this month. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. We can get into that. We one. get into that one. I'm. I'm gonna um, be real. Both have cracked 130. Batman, White Knight hit 130. Yeah. Uh, Batman, Dan, 105. Man, okay. Both triple digit. Yeah. Um, why? <laughs> yeah, just start reading a Batman podcast. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, um, I will go ahead and say this, because we've been talking about doing a two-parter. Um, how, and I think we need to do this one at some point. It is an important comic. There are a lot of comic books that we love today yeah. that would not be without this comic, but it came out in the 80s, and it shows, but as soon as we hit 100 subscribers on YouTube, let's go. 
We're at 52 at the time of recording. Yeah. You 48 more. And we won't we won't even split it into two parts. We'll do all 12 issues in one episode. We'll do the Watchmen. Yeah, the OG. Because, like, like the OG yes. Watchmen. Yeah. Because every month I sit there and look at it. I was like, we need to read we it at some point. It. I know it'll get views. We um, need to do it. But then I look at all the text bubbles and the art that just, let's be honest, it's, it's not it's 80s. It's not current art. And uh, I'm just like, not this month. No. So at 100 subscribers, which supposedly at all the YouTube video that I look at, that's when the algorithm is supposed to kick in for yeah, you. Yeah, let's I go. I say the first 100 is like the hardest. Um, well, 52 of you loyal fans yes. are getting us there. We've broken halfway. Well, 50, because we're two of them. <laughs> Still halfway. Yes. Um, but yeah, get us to 100. We'll do all 12 issues of The Watchmen. Um, and we'll, we will like... If we already have some banked, we will, like, we'll do it on the computer if we have to, and we'll just push everything back and then make that yeah that next week's episode. Yeah, because so, it, it, it needs to, it definitely needs to be the first big two-parter we do. Yeah. Maybe not the first two-part, but, yeah. but it's, it's going like, to have to be done, but it's going to take some work to get it done. Yeah, and, and it's, uh, I mean, I don't, without, because it's the whole, who watches the Watchmen, I don't think you get the boys. I don't think you get Invincible. No. I don't think you get all these awesome, like, morally great characters we have nowadays. Um, it's one of the most important comic books ever made. Um, but we're holding it back from you. So, <laughs> don't think it hadn't crossed our mind. Um, uh, it's been so long since I've been sitting here in front of you. Um, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and get into it since we already kind of talked about it. Sure. Uh, go ahead and credit them. So we got a long laundry list today, yes, folks. It was an event. So, so we've got our writer. This Tom Taylor, our artists with a lot of S's. Yeah. Trevor Harrison, Stefan Stefano Guadiani, Guadiano, Laura Braga, Richard Friend, James Heron, Derek Robertson, Trevor Scott, and Neil Edwards. We have our colorist Rain Barreto. We have our letterer, Sadie Saida Tamafonte, uh, and our collection cover arts by Francesco Matina. Uh, so a lot of artists worked on this, and there's some points in here that you can really tell. They kind of just, they they gave a they gave a list of pages and said, figure it out. Yeah. No one talked to each other. Just start writing. Um, or just start drawing, I guess, to be right word. Yeah. Um, I guess, go ahead and say what you're going to say. So, again, I've seen Deceased. I think we can both point out very clearly it was complete setup for 99% of this. Yeah, and, and when I saw this back, I mean, this came out in 2019, and I remember seeing it. It was a, it was like the event of the summer. Well, it, the problem but, but it, is, it, it's it was, not main canon. It, it's just. It's not? No, this was, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, I don't know. The problem is, is that it was also going on at the time as all the metal and death metal and all well, that. Correct. And, and so you're like, well, deceased is a pretty metal name. So is that going with all that? And I don't think uh, it actually did. So I don't see. I mean, the way the whole DC world now, everything is canon though. Now it's just we don't specify which universe. Right. Like ten DC retcons now canon again after death metal. Oh, okay. Um. So, I would assume that previously, before this whole Warner Brothers, DC, everything that's happened in the last, yeah. or I guess since this came out now, four years, this would have been an offshoot. Like, yeah. here's an Elseworld story. Go have fun with I it. I can see that. Um, we definitely explain why they killed some main character. Or- Oh, yeah. Zombified some main characters. Well, and you set up for kind of like a Young Justice type thing happening. You got John Stewart, not John Stewart, uh, Clark Kent's son becoming Superman. You have Damien taking the cow for Batman. Um, But I think think my biggest thing was like, as big as this was when I saw it originally come out, I didn't realize this was a multiple part series. Yeah. And so the whole time I'm reading this, like halfway through, I'm going, oh, well, 
there's not going to be any answers. It's like, like, when are we getting into Act 2? Yeah, like, okay, we are not going to... Yeah. We're, we're not crossing over into the next stage of whatever's going to happen. Mm. We are going to watch yeah. Earth burn and leave Earth. I want to say the next... One of the next two is called Dead Planet, and since we, at the end, go show up on a new planet, I'd right. assume that's what it is. Yeah. Um, which, knowing that, finding out after, yeah. it works. It does. It's a cool yeah. idea. Uh, My just man just wish I had realized that a little sooner. Yeah. My main complaint was just how cheesy it is. It's like, oh, technology is going to be the death of us. And yeah. Like, and yeah. <laughs> but also, the last, like, ten years, that's all any... Well, sci-fi I mean, thing has been it's like cool. You way. watched Black Mirror one time, right? That's awesome. Um, well, it's an easy way to infect everybody. Everybody's yeah. got a phone. Everybody has a TV. Mm. Everybody has something in front of them that can infect yeah. them. Um, also, and it was pre-COVID too. I was going to say, called your shot. <laughs> Pre pre-COVID too of of world uh, pandemic pandemics I and guess. viruses and shit. Um, but some of the art in this got me a little bit. Um, like we're cyborgs on the table on Apocalypse, it looks like an old cartoon type. I don't know. You've got one page on the right, on the left, that's like kind of cut clean and dirty, and then the right, it's just. I want to say that's two separate pages. Oh, it is. It's yeah. two separate pages, but you can tell like it's oh, this artist got yeah. this yeah, yeah. page. This artist well, got think, this page. I think the ones you're talking about were flashbacks. I would think. Oh, yeah. I think well, no. I mean, they artist. they say that, or when someone no, else they was say t- that while they were fighting, uh, or maybe it was just a pop apocalypse. Or, uh, a different apocalypse. Uh, that yeah. they captured cyborg during it, but I don't know. Either way, uh, I was. It was still fun. Yeah. It was still your zombie mm. comic, uh, which kind of gotten away from over the years because of Walking Dead kind of pretty much suffocated the market, kind of like when vampires suffocated the market. But um, other than that, vampires might be coming back. Yeah, I know. The the last voyage of the whatever. Oh, oh yeah. It takes uh, him from Transylvania to London. Yep. That's interesting. That that, trailer was kind of interesting. Apparently that was literally... One line from one story in an old vampire book, or like an old Dracula book. Yeah. And someone was just like, there's a story in there. And because all it was is like, um, the line was literally just like, and he took a boat from Transylvania to London, and it was the last, uh, or when the whatever boat showed up, everyone was dead on board. Jeez. And, and so, they, and they so they were like, all right, let's, and so they were just like, all right, let's make that movie. Wow. Yeah. That takes some, that takes some thinking right there. Not, yeah. I mean, I guess it's not, I mean, if you have just one line you mm. can create. Yeah. There's nothing else you got to go, uh, no. go around other than when they, like, when the boat lands, they all got to be dead. Yeah. And it's like the onion nights on there. <laughs> <laughs> and then putting in, uh, that smashing pumpkin song and it's like the world is a vampire and it's just like, world all right. is a vampire. But and now uh, we're demonetized. Woohoo! For all the money we make. Yeah, we don't make any. Uh, but no, I, this was fun. Um, I was very intrigued because I was like, you know, they're not gonna allow Superman to, to live. They're gonna have. They're gonna figure out some way to get Superman infected. Yeah. But again, he has impervious, supposed to be skin, and just him running into the Flash, running full speed, is enough to. Have the well, flash. I think you only had to be touched, didn't you? No, no, no. Or you had to look at the screen. Well, it was the screen, yeah. and then they could cut you. Like the infected uh-huh. could scratch you and hurt you. And well, I don't know. The flash is going at you full speed. I mean, it. It. I mean, it. It says it's. Like and I mean, his guts did get on him. So. Well, and a, and his fingers went in his ribs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, like he actually fu- pretty much fused with yeah. Superman. Um, I mean, it says an immovable object makes a unmovable speed or something like that. Unstoppable force. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But I like how even the Green Lantern Corps shows up. Yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah, Earth's fucked. Go away. Time to get you a new planet. Yep. Secret Invasion, season one. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, we can't even, um, 
we can't even go yeah, in the star. We're just giving up on that. Yeah, we can't even go in the star to stop Superman. Yeah. So have fun with your Earth. Time. These rinky dink airships that yeah. he built also predicted the submarine. Huh? Also predicting the submarine. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, man. But any other thoughts on it? I mean, it's it's kind of selfish, but it's infecting. Ninety nine percent set up. Uh, you lose. What surprise certain characters got bit off, or killed off so early? Uh, Superman and Batman. Nightwing. Uh, yeah. Batgirl, Catwoman, uh, Todd. Not, I do never say, saw Red Hood. I will say the West Coast Justice League issue was pretty fun. West Coast Justice League issue. Yeah, that's what all the people that were hanging out with John Constantine. I think oh, they were yeah, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Cyborg was yeah. with them. And, and they're like... The third option, which I don't really expect to work, Blue Beetle has to say, or no, uh, Booster uh, Gold Booster has, Gold to, has, save has to save us all. Save us all. Oh, that was great, and the way they were like, oh, and then Booster just fades out. Yeah. It's like, oh no, the Earth actually we we See, lost. I, they mapped that wrong. It should have came after the next issue because that's when Superman killed the Flash. You're right. And well, I mean, I guess they yeah they could have done that and would because been real I mean easy. I assume if you take out the Flash, then several times. Ahead of it, it's like, well, how many times has he gone back in time to save the Earth? Right. Well, now Booster Gold hasn't been born no... because we took out the Flash. Right. Um, I, I guess it works because you you can say like, oh, well, we know it's gonna fail. Yeah. Like, like, oh, okay, no matter what happens next, the Earth yeah. is doomed. Well, yeah, I mean, theoretically, he, well, how did he come back? Uh, if the Earth doesn't get saved, so he shouldn't well, right. be. That's so that, why that's he fades a, away. Yeah, that's a that's a full time paradox almost yeah. because it's for him to be there means the Earth lived up to some point. Yeah, but then he they faded were going, away because then it got destroyed. See, they they mixed themselves between the way Back to the Future works and with the way uh the in what's the last one? In game work. In game, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they they had they a, played with two different time zones. Right. But I was sitting there. I was like, "No one's killed the Flash. Why is he fading away?" Um, <laughs> uh, fucking Martian man. A, a lot of this, a little bit, was kind of everything. Every so many people were infected so quickly. Yeah. Yet there was enough time for them to create arcs to save well, people. They, they had and the Martian man, and then the Martian Manhunter all of a sudden shows up and kills a bunch of them. Yeah. So, what the fuck was he doing for the last however long? Just chilling in the being, shadows? Being a convenient story plot. I, I get, yeah. but it was just kind of like, what What just, what happened here? Like, how did we, how did we hide him for so many issues and all of a sudden he pops up and yeah. fucks everybody over? I don't know. I and mean, the Green Lantern's taking there wasn't forever. A whole and the Green Lantern's taking forever to get there. There wasn't a whole bunch of... In this, there was only the one spinoff issue that they put in. Yeah. I guess that they felt relevant to the story. Right. So, who knows? There could have been other shit. But again, uh, this definitely felt like a, 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 a there's a multiple deceases, deceased. Yeah. But could also be like Wonder Woman got a sh- one off. Flash got a one off. Yeah. Marsh Manhunter got a like, mm-hmm. like. It definitely feels like one of those yeah. where. Which I'm glad we read this version because it worked oh, by itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you didn't even have to throw in the West Coast Avenger one. Yeah. That Unless was... John Constantine plays a bigger role going forward. Than right. He Did he get on the arc? We never saw Well, no, him. but the other magic users pick him up and they're like, hey. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That was right. Dr. So they'll... Fate and Zatanna are like, hey, time to go. Yeah. So they'll end up. Possibly. They're setting up for something. Yeah. Uh, Could have seen the Green Lanterns doing more. That felt a little. Why did y'all show up so late? kind of deal but again I don't know uh, other than that not seeing John Stewart kind of made me mad I was like we have every other one Guy Gardner's there fucking Hal Jordan was the one that got killed yeah. the fuck's John Stewart yeah John Stewart they, they must have I don't know who's running the Green Lantern line right now but John Stewart's like not even I, I mean I, guess, like, I think he's like like he'll show up he's every our now generation is Green Lantern and they're just but not no one ever him. wants to use him yeah um I loved how uh Oliver Green Arrow was Oliver complaining Plank. about how 
uh, well, Fat Man didn't think of anything. I, I'm not oh, a yeah. world ending. Yeah. And then he sits there with his monologue after he kills Aquaman. I just killed a motherfucker half a mile away yeah. in a tornado, in a cy- cyclone. Oh, I'm not riding a, a shark. <laughs> yeah, riding a like, kraken. It's like, I'm not a world. It's yeah. like, I'm not a world threat. Motherfucker. It's just, like, you could see like, like if it was like a movie and like a card, you could just see him just like, what the, like just like yeah. pouncing away from the, like <laughs> just waddling off like motherfuckers. Oh yeah. That was funny. That was a good comic relief in there. Mm. But Black Canary getting to be green later. That was cool. cool. That was cool. Um, I guess that, I mean it's yeah. I mean, like I said, it's ninety nine percent set up. Yeah. Um, if you want to, I'm totally down to do the other two. Oh yeah, I, outside I can... of outside of the continuous. If you just want to make it the next two, like fifth week, fourth, fourth week, whatever, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it definitely. I would. I would want to. I would definitely want to finish it. Yeah. Because it's it caught my attention enough mm-hmm. uh, to want to continue and finish and see what the fuck they do. But I guess that's really about it. Yeah. Um. Hope you have a whatever uh, personal, personal recommendation because I'm gonna have to think one real fast. Well, I mean, mine's gonna be kind of a. Uh, if you say your kid, I'm punching you on the face. I don't, I don't say the kid. But it's not much better. Uh, I guess just kind of how with having him around lately, trying to figure out how to run life now. Uh, go do something you want to go do. Go buy something you want to go buy. Just bite the bullet. Don't bankrupt yourself or hurt yourself any way like that. But if you got something you've been wanting, go get it. Go watch a movie. Go do the thing you keep pushing off to to say, oh, well, I'll do it the next week. I'll do it whenever. And So when's that PlayStation 5 coming? That's kind of part of the part of the rant right here is, yeah. is that it's it gets closer and closer just on kind of the same ideas. Like, it just keeps getting pushed down the list, and it's going to get to the point I'm not going to get it, and I'm going to be upset, and I'm just going to have to do it. So go get it. Go get what you want. Don't bankrupt yourself, of course. Don't hurt yourself, but... Find a way to make your own self happy for a little bit. There was something I was going to send you the other week about some like video game news. I was like, I know Davis likes that franchise. <laughs> um, okay. So, first shout out. I'm not making it a full recommendation because it's still not where it should be. But Comixology has finally gone back to where I can buy them on my iPad. I don't really? have to log into Amazon.com oh, anymore. Um, I guess they're cool with Apple taking their portion. But... When we did Deceased, or it was one of the ones we did this month, one of them I had to buy, and I could buy it oh, through Punisher. my iPad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Punisher. And I could buy it through my iPad again. Damn. So shout out to them. Where um, last month we had to go on the computer yeah. to get dual, no, go through Audible, no, go through Amazon's actual internet. page, yeah. yeah, to get dual powerbomb. Yeah. Um, But this uh, franchise that just came out with the seventh movie, um... I'm going to personally recommend because I literally spent <laughs> probably six days binge watching all of the first six Mission Impossible. Um, after how incredibly good uh, Top Gun 2 was, I was like, fuck it. Got a little Tom Cruise kick. Yeah, I'm just like, that man saving cin- uh, cinema by himself. Yeah. So I was like, I guess I got to watch all these Mission Impossible movies. And I know you had at one point you had seen them all. I'm, I'm like ninety percent sure I've seen every one of them. Okay, I know I've seen up to five. I don't remember if I've seen six. I will say, is six it is hanging the, on the side of the plane? Yes. Then I've seen them all. Wait, no. That, that might be five. five. That's five because Jeremy Renner is not in six. Okay. And then seven is in theaters now. Correct. Um. I have literally never seen a franchise where it legitimately gets better and better each movie. I I can definitely say the from the what I remember watching the especially when I started watching them as yeah. a kid and I understand they were together. Mm. And when I finally went back and put them in order, yeah. I was like, man, this is a story. Like mm. the story is building, it's continuing oh, yeah. in a very fluid After and, I watched and number shit's one. not getting that I mean, it's crazy, but it's yeah. not put a rocket on a car and fly it. Close to space. No. Um, 
I will say, after number one, I didn't understand how they got another sequel or a sequel. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, that was average at best. Yeah. And then I, number to... two was so outrageous. I love it, ironically. Like, they completely abused the face ripping oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the mask. I mean, they fucking... Every other five minutes, they're ripping a mask, and it's like, not who you thought it was. Wah! And then the action was like, this guy was trying to do the Matrix before the Matrix did the Matrix, yeah. and it just wasn't working. Yeah. And uh, I was just like, Phew. ironically love that one. And then number three was directed by J.J. Abrams, and it really? was legitimately good. Yes. Shit, I didn't know you did And that. then everyone after that wasn't directed by J.J. Abrams, but it was through his uh, production company, Bad uh, Robot. So he kind of had a... Yeah, he had led... Was closed least, doors, hand on it. Yeah, or was like at least yeah. involved somewhat. And then they legitimately just get better and better after yeah. that. So, I I do agree. That's a good good one. Yeah. I need um, to rewatch them all again. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no. Um, that's before we started at 9 o'clock tonight. Yeah. Um, that was my plan tomorrow to go see number seven. So, yeah. well, cool. Next week, got Punisher, Punisher Volume One. Woohoo! Uh, check the Instagram; the art will be on there. Make sure you buy the uh, right one. Yep. Uh, written by Jason as Volume One of Jason Aaron's run. So. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, we will see you all then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>